Mi nombre es El Prince. Uh, el Zetex? I don't know. Domi mi panocha. Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. We are here. Welcome to the Power Hour every Saturday here on Real Liberty Media with Prince, me, and uh, Zipix there. We're here. We're there. Uh, We're everywhere. Eight minutes late. We're in your hair. Who the fuck cares? I do. I'm fashionably late. I, I was I was on a, a covered ops mission. No, you weren't. Yes. Cover ops mission. Bullshit. You were just outside. And I got paid in in no, you gold didn't. bullion. No, you didn't. Yes. You got paid. In Life dark is shit. glorious. It's glorious. Again, uh, yes. This is the power hour. Um, we're gonna talk to you about a bunch of weird shit. The the theme of this show, I think, it's gonna be uh, welcome to the doomsday or or. It's like, so this is Doomsday. Yeah, that song. So this is Christmas. Oh, God. It's not just, no, no. So stop, this is no, Doomsday. No, 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 so what no, do stop, we have? Stop. Yes. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to record it. Oh, God. We're fucked. Uh huh. <laughs> Anyways, so, uh, you know, it may be bleak and it may be um, odd and, and, and the future may be uncertain, but uh, Bitcoin is, is, is pumped over the 10K mark and it's teetering on 12K. Are we shocked? So are we shocked? I'm not sure. I'm not. Um, no, no, neither am I, but, you know, it makes you give the question, why now and not then or... or any other sort of uh, why inquiry. because why not fair enough that's that's a, a, a very quantum uh, hypothesis on, on that subject sir <laughs> anyways yeah so I'm, I'm looking at some articles here um, yes Ms. Girl. I, cut, cut, cut what I'm loose. looking for are opinions on why this this is happening is it is it just because the world's ending so you know the world's ending bank on bitcoin why not i guess why why not that's a pretty convincing argument for all particular scenarios yes there's too many cucks ponder huh somebody said there's too Let's many not get cucks. sexual here sir <laughs> Unless you want to bring it to the bedroom. <laughs> oh, I'm in my bedroom. I don't know about you. We're not going to go there. I'm in, I'm in the torture <laughs> chamber. I'm in a torture chamber, baby. You are Come a torture on down. chamber. Come on down. Yeah, anyways. Um, Bitcoin. Doomsday. <laughs> sure, come here. Sure. I don't know. What are they saying in chat? I'm sorry. I, They're I, saying I cucks as in cucumbers. Yes, cucumber cucks. They're everywhere. <laughs> I'll you buy five somewhere. or a dozen for three ninety nine at your local um, whatever fucking store, local Walmart? grocery store chain. The cuck, the cucking cucumbers. <laughs> They're everywhere. The, the, don't forget the zuck. Oh, boy. Well, Bitcoin, anyways... Um, <laughs> So, also, um, a lot of really cool things happening in, in the world of the Holy Roger. Do you care about that? 
What about the Holy Roger? So, um, the Holy Roger will be switching algor- algorithms, uh, mining algor- algorithms, uh, in the future. Uh, and we are going with a customized version of script, uh, and it's going to be called Holy Script, uh, which will be, um, essentially the Holy Script. Mineable, uh, memory heavy intent, uh, memory intensive script that would be mineable only, uh, on, uh, effectively on, uh, CPUs. So we've started, uh, well, uh, uh, Holiest and, and the new dev have started, um, uh, working on, on this change. And yeah, we're, we're getting in there, man. And there's some fun secrets to talk about with alt markets also. Um, but I'm, I'm not just, gonna, I'm not gonna mention right now. I'm, I'm, but there's I'm a more. Lot of really good stuff going on with, with, uh, the, the, um, lower tier altcoins, uh, scene. I'm right more now. happy with the name of it. Holy script. That, that's just, 10 out of 10. Why? What do you want it to be? Like Roger script? No, no. I'm saying I like it. Okay, you like it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. What the hell? So, holy script, yes. It's gonna, it's... So, you know, come visit us, theholyroger.com if you click on what is the Holy Roger. We need to get a new website. Um, you know, visit us on Discord. The link's there. Um, I don't think anybody here has Discord. Probably not. Besides but if Matt. You do, then come to our, um, our our channel also on Freenode uh, Pound, the Holy Roger. And uh, I'll give you free coins. And they won't. Um, you know, and we'll shoot the shit about how terrible the world is. And uh, that's the end of it. Moving on from crypto subjects. That's the end of the show. See you guys. That's okay. the end of the show. Peace out. <laughs> G. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so let me start from the top of where I started uh, collecting articles here. So um, UFOs, uh, I think I, brief, I briefly touched on UFOs a bit last week. And um, interesting, uh, you know, the curveballs in 2020 that, that, uh, that it's been sending us, uh, they, they seem to be UFO related in, in a numerous amount of these cases. So uh, more UFO stories in the news all over. Um, Hmm. They're compiling this stuff. So, so, uh, did I ask you this last week? Do you think, do you think that UFOs could be aliens or do you think it's, uh, time travelers from the future coming? I mean, aliens is a pretty generic term considering all it means is something from this earth. Yeah. That, that's what I mean. Uh, I mean, I, it could be either or. I mean, well, obviously, yeah, that's the question I'm asking. It could be either or, but what what is your leaning towards? What what, what it could? Possibly, I'm in the middle. In the middle, it could be both. You're saying, yeah. Well, who knows? So um, no let's see here, Nevada. So um, was it? When is this? Oh man, they didn't do this article very well here. I I, I want to. Okay, June 28th, uh, North Las Vegas, several white orbs flying uh, at high speeds before they formed a triangle and disappeared. Um, this one's have a date, but I'm guessing it's after June 24th. Uh, Reno, four un- unidentified flying objects, uh, making a spectacle by indulging in tight turns. So they're doing acrobat moves in the sky because, you know, Why not? you want to really fuck them up? Fucking start doing like weird twisty shit, bitch. You'll fuck them all up. I'll fuck you up. Word. Okay, what was this one? Uh, in Las Vegas, a witness spotted four orange uh, objects shoot past his right side at the speed of too fast. It was just too fast for any plane or human main object. Was it Superman? Fuck you. I, I don't like this article. But uh, yeah, I, don't I, I appreciate that. There's the, too many ads. And I, well, I have them all blocked. But uh, I had to I turn mine the off and the boys went to read it. Well, I appreciate the fact that they compiled all the all of these occurrences, but um, they didn't do it very well, unfortunately. No, if I this is prepared. I would have. There's not enough made. picture. Yeah. Besides, I'm a picture kind of guy. So Mojave Desert, desert. Um, what's another one? July 13th at the New Fork Base. Uh, Another one in Las Vegas. A lot of them in Las Vegas. So they, 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 you know, they want to go to the land of sin. The aliens, obviously. 
Um, you know, cause carnal pleasures, man, you know, you can't discount that shit. Um, you know, sometimes you just want to smoke some crack and fuck a bitch. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, moving on from from those, um, you know. Let's talk about the Ohio woman. What Ohio woman that received the first U.S. face oh, transplant? This is a very interesting one. Um, I, I suppose for medical science. So, an Ohio woman she received the first uh, U.S. face transplant. Uh, uh, what year did she receive it? Uh, uh, t- 2008. Yeah, 2008. Uh, what, did she get shot in the face by her husband <laughs> or something like that? I don't know about her before picture. It looks like shit. It's a kind of a sad story. I mean, and, and it's very um, revolutionary in terms of modern medicine that they can do this. And I'm glad that this person was able to live out their full life. Uh, but I'm just highlighting the oddity of the story that we see in the news. So, you know, if, if someone, if a medical marvel like this is passing at, at a time like this, maybe it, it is truly doomsday. Uh, and that's why the theme of this episode is obviously doomsday. Uh, so, yes, this woman, uh, like I said, her, she got shot in the face by her husband and, and she had a face transplant uh, in order to uh, allow her to live a normal life. I'm gonna put the picture of her she in uh, today. And I'm gonna put the picture of her in the chat because it's horrible, really fucking ugly. I hit that. Wait, wait, never mind. Can I cut that out? No. Oh, oh shit. And you're not allowed to edit this episode. Oh god. Like he did to the last one. I I added all of them, so fuck off. You edited so you like. Know, a half hour worth of shit out with the last one. Yes, I did. So shut the fuck up. That is what the picture of what she That's was. That's why like. everybody needs to tune in live. If you want to, if you want to, like catch the fray, you know, as it's intended, uh, then tune in live. Otherwise, you're gonna get a a, a a censored version that that's filtered through the DPRK and uh, you know the conspiracy. Uh, unfortunately, you know, after it goes out of my hands, I have to submit it to my superiors, uh, and there's things that they green. By superiors, you mean so. yourself. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. No, you. Anyways, more doomsday. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, this, I think these may, might be references to an article that I, I actually um, in, expanded on several weeks ago uh, regarding this MIT. Uh, study that that predicted that 20, uh, 2020 is kind of the apex year for if we don't you know change the wheels uh, by. Hey, <laughs> I have no idea what the hell that was. I'm sure you don't. Anyway, so if we don't change our wheels now, uh, that uh, catastrophe is certain within the next 10, 20 years. Um, but um, so let's see what this article says. Uh, like I said, I don't really read them before I, I find the topics. You don't just read anything. Them. I do normally, but some I found it a lot more fun to just you know find discover these articles right before I figure out what the fuck they are, you know, and move it that way. So why not? Um, this is New York Post. It's not the news you want to hear during the during a global health crisis. Uh, so, oh, this is a new theoretical study appearing in Nature Scientific Reports. A pair of statistical researchers warned that rampant human consumption has sent us on a tailspin towards rapid catastrophic collapse Woo-hoo, I mean, in the oh, next damn. two or four decades. Woo! All right, congratulations. Give us a pat on the back, mankind. It's all about us today. But these these are all just AI generated reports. So I I I rely on the bunnies. Congratulations and the silk, and that's what will save us. Um, will save save us from ourselves is the bunnies and the and 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 you know a sunrise, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. No, not really. Anyways, <laughs> so uh, one point forest density or current lack thereof is considered a cataclysmic canary in the coal mine. It's a big word. Yes. 
cataclysmic canary in the coal mine. I'm surprised you could say that. Why? Because are you, it's a big boy. Are, are you, you think I have to do a cognitive ability test? Like, you nope. Know, you probably fail it. Donald Trump or? You probably fail it. I probably would. Is this a duck? No, it's a penis. Uno reverse card. It, it is. Can I nose. smell your hair? Yes. Ah, good hair to smell is great. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, getting back into this report about. Doomsday. So forest density. So deforestation is obviously um, moved forward. They are saying as at a, a alarming rate. Um, obviously, trees are important. Generate carbon dioxide. Um, what I would like for any climate change deniers um, viewpoint to be would be to include any sort of uh, mathematics that involve uh, CO2 production uh, within commerce uh, as, a, as opposed to uh, chopping down trees uh, for industry. I don't know if that was long enough drawn out to, to uh, explain it, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> you, I don't know. You know. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. He's Let's talk about man. tombstones. No, I want to talk about the doomsday shit more, so. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Anyways, so like I said, hail Satan. Where are we going next, Zippix? Well, let's talk about 19 funniest tombstones. <laughs> 19 funniest tombstones. So yes, after that heavy metaphysical um, whatever the fuck, clusterfuck that I went into. Uh, so uh, the first one... We're going to go lighthearted here. The first one is the last laugh. It's literally a tombstone that has ha 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 written on it. And that's fucking it. Like literally, that's it. That looks fake. No, it's actually not. It totally looks fake, though. Oh, it's not, Getty though. Images. Okay. All right. Getty Images. And the next one's for Mel, Mel Blank. Blank. His team <laughs> no, says, like that's all, folks. Good and for him. <laughs> the, 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 Looney Tunes. That's not that funny, though. But it also refers to him as the man of the house and voices. That's not really that funny. Hey. It's just but, unique. I mean, no, think about it. If He's you know dead. Me, and the thing it says is that's all folks. Okay, yes. There is a subtle wit in that statement. It's, I must it's, it's it's horrible, but it's funny. No, I just didn't think, didn't think it was that funny. And the next one that's it right. says, I will not be right back after the semester. Okay. Merv Griffin, yeah, he he's another T V guy. And I think these are a bunch of uh, to be you guys. <laughs> this next one, I, didn't, I told you I, I was sick. <laughs> okay, one of the one of the ones that we're not going to see in the next year is like I wasn't friends with Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this literally this tube says I told you I was sick. <laughs> That's pretty good, like motherfucker. <laughs> oh Lord, Wait. I. I can barely read this next one. Uh, Terrence Allen Spike Milligan, writer, artist, musician, humanitarian. That's that's some okay. Shel God, Ash, what Margaret font and, is this? It's like the worst it's font like old, ever. Old English, like fucking. I can't, uh, dude. I literally. Oh, okay. Um, okay, check this out. Read it out. Luke. Uh, like William, okay, William H. Hahn Jr., Irish writer and comedic uh, Spike Milligan, whose eccentric sense of humor was an important influence for Monty Python's Flying Circus, also chose to let the world know that he knew better. Uh, born in 1918, died in 2002, but not before making sure his tombstone was inscribed with his version of the I told you so line 
and I told you, actually, no, okay, this is part two, so um, that I, I told you so, uh, this is kind of the same thing here. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Okay, I get you. Anyways, so that, that's a pretty complex one. It's translated into Gaelic. That's that's what it is. Um, so that's a pretty complex troll to put on your This next computer. one, I, I, I don't understand, really. It literally says Jack Lemon and then N. Do you remember Jack Lemon? Do you, do you ever hear of a movie called Grumpy Old Men in the 90s? Mm, no. You should watch it. it. It's not bad. Jack Lemon and Walter Matthau. Uh, they were really prominent actors for quite a long time before that Grumpy Old Men movie. But uh, um, I get that as Jackie Lemon in Death, <laughs> which, which is pretty funny in its own right for Jack Lemon. I guess. I don't know. I just don't get it. That's because you're too young. Probably. <laughs> Billy Wilder. I'm a writer, but then nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. Okay. All right. Let's kind of go dry. And then here's the next yeah. one. There goes the neighborhood. That one's good. Not, that's a, not a bad one. That's and the next one is let her let rip. rip. There we go. <laughs> Your lad's one of the money's funniest men around. It's funny they let him live so long. Okay. You know, I these are all fake, though. These are all the same. They, there's no... I don't like this article because they they haven't included actual pictures of the fucking tombstones. Here lies Lester Moore, four slugs from a forty-four. No less, no more. That's hardcore, man. That's gangster. <laughs> and it literally looks like it's on the side of the road. Just All on the side of the road. The same fucking tombstone. Like, man, show me just show me a picture of it. These fucking. Bastards. Damn, it's dark down here. <laughs> Yeah, I'd rather be in a a capital. A what? There's a lot of those that with no pictures. Fuck them. I don't want to read them. Okay, but they're hilarious. Yeah, well, uh, you know. And four, the number Tell fourteen. Tell me what's the funniest tombstone name you could think of, and we'll just put it on, a, on an article and, and and show you like. I'm feeling my last cavity. You know, existing fucking tombstones. He's just lost. He's not getting me out. Here lies John Yeast. Pardon me I'm for not rising. in my world. <laughs> oh, God. Look at number 19. I'm done with this. Let's move on. No, look at 19. Seriously. <laughs> One that may or may not be. Okay, yes, no, no the final word. Yes, or no, uh, the joke's on us. 1832, 30, 33-year-old Welshman died, leaving uh, behind a wife, two sons, and a mystery. What was the man's name? Where his name should have been on his tombstone, there is instead a 285-letter uh, cryptic crossword puzzle that he uh, is said to have dined, uh, designed himself. So that's pretty cool. So instead of his name, he, he put a, a, a cryptogram. Basically but here's the thing. Name. What is harder to understand is why, as it turns out, this is not where the body of John, whatever the fuck his last name is, John, Ren, John Ren, Ren, Rene, Rene. Yeah, so his body's not even there. Wow. I like this guy. That, at least they topped off the article with this man that I never knew existed. So, hey, cheers. See, I told you to look at the last one, you fucked her. No. Fuck Dart. David Beckham bought testicle trimmer by son. <laughs> what? Testicle trimmers. Everybody needs one. Right? I, I don't know. Like, uh, I've, I've only, I only highlighted this article because I've done uh, some, some Roger marketing with, with David Beckham. Uh, and instead of, you know, uh, what, what's the something life? I do Roger life. You know, everybody needs to uh, smoothen their and balls. David Beckham is into Roger. He just won't. He won't say it publicly. So, um, you know, if David Beckham can bend it like that, then you can bend some Roger. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, well, I've never heard of a testicle trimmer before, but it was given to him by his son. Well, actually, his youngest um, son on Hulu. They they have. Uh, Showtime, they have back episodes of, of Penn & Teller's Bullshit. 
which is a really fun show, actually. And uh, at one point in time in, in one of the episodes, they're going over, you know, infomercial products. And one of them was a uh, a pubic hair trimmer uh, endorsed by Jenna Jameson at the time. It was in the 90s, you know, like uh, probably around the Bush presidency. So, uh, you know, people do buy fucking, uh, 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 you know, penile grooming. I mean, I shave my, 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 my junk with a razor. So, I mean, I'm not afraid. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. I'm not afraid. Freedom. I don't know. Shave that shit. That's what I'm about, man. I just, I, mean, I don't, I don't understand. Why is his 15 year old son buying his father a testicle trimmer? No, it's kind of odd. It, you know, and this is the mirror. I mean, why would they report on these sorts of I, things? But, no, here's another knows? thing. How would his 15 year old son know that his dad needs to trim his balls? I don't know. Beautiful shining balls. David I mean, beautiful shining that balls. has me a little bit of concern. You want to preserve that lifeline, I guess, because they're just so s- smoldering. I they mean, play, I, I just, I'm just concerned that so his well. son knows that his dad needs to trim his balls. Well, maybe he just had pu- puberty, and it's sort of an exercise in, um, you know, you've got balls too, son, and they'll eventually be no. hairy. No, 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 no. His son, but his I dad. I know. I'm saying as a token of appreciation for explaining to him the rights of the ball, the son buys the father, the ball trimmer. And that's the right of pat, you know, passage. I, I, I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> it's just, I don't, I don't understand it. I don't, I don't get it. I guess not. I, I don't even know. I, I don't even know testicle trimmers were a thing. I know. Like I said, I've been shaving my balls since I was like fucking. Yeah, who shaves their old, fucking man. balls anyway? Uh, what we're on the of topic of balls, human well, sperm doesn't wiggle. Like I said, I've been shaving my balls since I was fourteen, man. Did you know human sperm doesn't wiggle? Oh, the human sperm story. Yes, I, I found this one. I was looking for a good segue, so you, you kind of caught me there on, on, on something interesting. So, um, human sperm ap- apparently roll like playful otters as they swim. A study finds uh, contradicting centuries-old beliefs. Uh, been studying the penis for centuries, guys. They've been studying the penis, penis, and and its ejaculatory contents for centuries, and they have penile been- study, penile ejaculations. Uh, yes. So if you hear that news, like, nine, live at 11, penile ejaculations. Coming to a local news station near you. Coming to a local new, news station near you. Oh, God. That's Get it now for nineteen ninety nine. Those are like creepy dad jokes. Like, peanut. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's more like, uh, <laughs> Exactly. Oh, so the playful otter thing, I kind of went on a tangent there. More than 340 years ago, a Dutchman named Antony van Leeuwenhoek invented a powerful new compound microscope and accidentally discovered the existence of bacteria, a groundbreaking <laughs> achievement that, it cha- uh, that changed the course of mankind and resultantly humanity. Okay, here's my next thing. How? Why did he decide to look at his cum? So this guy, like, they, they build him up with this big fucking, you know, he 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 discovered the microscope to look at jizz. But what, who who wakes up and is like, oh, I'm gonna take a microscope to my cum? I'm like, what the Dude, fuck? I would want to know too. I would come into a fucking slide. <laughs> You'd come into anything, aren't you? Once we were here. Oh, God. You're probably right. <laughs> I know I'm right. So this guy, but you know, apparently the, the, they've known this for centuries, but they're just, you know, scientific collaboration is just achieving the point now where we can figure out how sperm dance, you know. Because <laughs> this is very, very important. 2020, my friends. 
So, uh, I guess we can't call them swimmers anymore. They're dancers. Yeah. They're my little dancers. They're not little swimmers anymore. Exactly. The little dancers. Tiny dancers. As, um, exactly. As Elton John would put it, we have tiny dancers. <laughs> Elton John knew it all along. Elton John knew it all along, boys. <laughs> they lied. Elton John's the one that jizzed into a slide. Elton it, John would probably do that. It doesn't matter. It wasn't Anton, whatever the fuck it was. Elton John. Anton LaVey? Yeah, that guy. The founder of Satanism? Sure. So, Doomsday Asteroids. Ooh. Apparently, um, everyone is uh, vigilant in our world, including schoolgirls in India. Uh, they discovered an asteroid, indeed, headed straight for Earth. School schoolgirls in India. So, we don't have observatories readily looking for this sort of thing, apparently. No. Just, um, just, just some 16 year old them. girls. Just some fucking teenagers from India. Um, That's oh right. Oh, God, okay. This is why it's not fun. Man, you know, I, I they trick me into getting into these articles. That's what it is. And this is how they trick people. Okay. What? So this is, uh, the asteroid is predicted to hit Earth in one million years. Eh. But kudos to the girls. But the way that they paint these articles is like, these girls found out something's going to hit us and we're all going to die. I mean, all it says is girl, girls in India discovered an asteroid hit it straight from Earth. Yeah, and this is the World Economic Forum. This is this is the where this, this story is located. So... <laughs> I mean, it was originally Reuters. Well, no. Well, okay, yeah, Reuters. But I'm just saying where I got baited. In, in it was, it was, this was in, oh God. Let me, let me try to say this name. I'm a big dad, India. Okay. That probably wasn't doing close to being right. Probably not. <laughs> it's probably like, I'm a blah, 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 go fuck India. Well, you need to, you need to study yourself, uh, my friend, and uh, learn how to produce foreign di dialects and such. Okay, I learned some Hindu, you motherfucker. You mother chud. Oh god. Oh god. Anyways, so um, the fuck? Congrats to these girls. Uh I I don't I don't have the article that, that Zipix was looking at. I, I didn't I didn't look that far into it. I was just kind of I just clicked on the alarmed fucking by the sensational. I just clicked thing. on the link on the link you said that took me to Warriors. No, it, this is weforum.org. But if you go, if you look on the very top on the side, it says this article first appeared in Reuters. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, that's a, you just have a Thank brain. Thank you. You just have a You're brain. My, you are my savior in whatever the fuck and something. I am. Bow to me. I am Jesus. Yes. Uh, Ahmedabad, India. That's how you would pronounce that, Zipix. Yeah. That is to be determined. Do we have a resident Indian expert in the house? I fucking know, man. These these these, these non worldly fucking whores and their Central America bullshit. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways. What else we got here? We got, um, where's the, the flooding one? Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to lead into a few articles with this one. So a global flood is clump coming. Um, coming. It's coming. It's, it's coming, coming so quick. In science, it's, it's expected to look like what? So the perilous rise of our seas is pushing tides, waves, and storms further inland from our shores, so much so that in the coming century, scientists predict enormous swaths of land will be regularly in inundated by water. That's quite a mouthful. Please hold while we try to get Prince to speaking English. 
those two those two words together are are fit, <laughs> here come the excuses that on purpose man they, here they come the excuses so by 2100 if we have failed to put up defenses and do nothing to curb our global emissions new research found that coastal flooding could increase by nearly 50 percent so where i live um, most likely will be underwater um, dead yeah. prince is dead I'm dead already, man. Dead already. Dead, dead already. Okay. Um, so, but yeah, that led me into this other article. Um, where is it? About California. California. California Cation. Satellite survey shows California sinking coastal hotspots. Um, so yeah, a, a majority of the, uh, world population lives on low lying islands near the sea, some of which are predicted to submerge by the end of the 21st century due to rising sea levels. So the most relevant quantity for assessing the impacts of sea level change on these communities is the, uh, relative sea level rise, uh, the elevation That's change between the earth's surface height and the sea surface height. It's not that hard to really. So uh, here's the question. Envision. Well, well so, the amount uh, of. Well, the amount of semen rice. Ferner, God, can we have a serious moment here? We're talking about fucking swallowing no. up swaths of people. It that bites sounds the ocean, kinky. mistress o- ocean. God damn it! Sounds hot. For an observer standing on the coastline, relative sea level rise is the net change. In the sea level, which, which, you know, it's, you can't really tell. Um, the rise and fall beneath observer's feet is a different thing altogether. So this is a very detailed article. Well, yes, it is from a science network. It is. Yes. I, I have a few of these bookmarks. Their most relevant quantity for assessing the impacts of sea level change on these communities, the relative sea level rise. The elevation change between the Earth's surface height and the sea surface height. I get it. Hmm. Interesting. Actually, that's the twi- the second time I said that. So. Hmm. Ha. Ha. Hmm. Hmm. So, um, hmm. yeah, California will be swallowed. A lot of you will be happy, I'm sure, you know. It's about time we get rid of that well, damn right, state. Like, yeah, fuck those fucking California Fuck you, comments. Prince. <laughs> yeah. Like, fuck people. Fuck I people. Hope, I hope you first. I do. Yeah, I know you do. It's okay. I'll push you under water. Many men. Many, 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 many men. Wish death upon me. No, I don't cry no more. No, I don't look to the sky no more. Oh, oh. You know that song? Nope. Fifty Cent, man. I don't listen to many, um, many Fifty Cent songs. Yeah, you just listen songs. to this fucking weird ass fucking like rave techno shit. No, I, I don't. That's just yeah. no copyright shit. I'm totally, I'm totally fucking switching that shit out because it was fucking horrible. Uh, at least listen to the outro before you switch both out. Yeah, well, the outro I'll switch to. I'm sure. No, it's actually some drum step. Mm-hmm. I don't trust your judgment. I'm sorry, sir. Anyways, it's, moving on. So, more no, I don't shit. trust your judgment, man. That's okay. You don't have to trust it. You just have to deal with it. I get to deal with <laughs> my judgment, too. Ah, that's the consequence of freedom, my friend. You know, we have the freedom to do what we want, but, but we also have to uh, have the freedom to deal with the consequences of our actions. Uh-huh. And that's uh, something that uh, uh, many forget to take into account when exercising constitutional rights. <laughs> Anyways, mystery at Arizona's... Pro- this this is something that I picked up that, that is kind of alarming to me in a way. Um, like, who would particularly do this, even if they were, you know, domestic people just, you know, uh, surveying... Hold on, Prince. So, um... Uh, Oh, Moose Girl won't flash us. No, that's okay, Moose Girl. I'll flash some titties, uh, and I'll make up for both of us. It's all fun. All good. Anyways, um, what else we got here? Flashing titties. So, no, yes, I was talking about 
let me just pop in where 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 uh, Zipix so amateurishly uh, just you know decided to drop the signal uh, so irresponsibly. You know what? I don't want to hear about <laughs> irresponsible, Mister Six Minutes Late. <laughs> Anyways, so um, this is something that I picked up that that kind of bothered me because it one it makes you wonder who performed this 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 sort of thing. So um, uh, Palo Palo Verde nuclear plant. So a few drones for two nights uh, did some flyers of, of the largest nuclear facility in the United States. Um, Security uh, security guards at Palo Verde Nuclear Generating Station west of Phoenix noticed something odd September. This was last year, so in 2019, September, the end of last year. Um, five or six drones buzzed over the perimeter fence of the plant. Um, like I said, the largest generator in the U.S., 50 miles west of Phoenix. Um, they went across the open desert where the guards practiced you know, force-on-force force simulated combat drills to sharpen their skills, so it's used by the U.S., uh, uh, military as well as a training ground, but it's also the largest uh, nuclear power generator in the United States. Um, they stayed for an hour and came back the next night for a repeat performance. Hmm. Yes. So it makes me wonder, you know, they're saying, like, is this some, some sort of espionage um, or, or is this, you know, someone just trying to get photos of, of these things. Could it just be, uh, like, Google who fucking maps? Just... No. Those are easily identif- identifiable drones. I mean, I've seen the, the, the Google, uh, Google Google Maps cars. They're not drones. They're, they're, you know, cameras coming out of cars. But if, uh, if Amazon did some sort of drone, you know, uh, deployment to photograph the surroundings, they would need massive oversight and, uh, to to allow it. I would assume, uh, unless they're doing it illegally, that does not exist. Hmm. I don't know. Man. You don't know. Don't know, man. I don't know either. So yeah, drone flights over the largest nuclear facility in the U.S. Just a curious article that I found interesting. Uh, and possibly terrifying. Could they be? No, I'm just about this. Could they be military drones? No, dude. They would know immediately. I mean, that, that's the guy. They're saying that the people at the power plant don't know who it was. If if they would have to be clued into some sort of U.S. military operation. Well, who says it was U.S. Okay, never mind. We're getting out of the realm. Like uh, I'm, I'm just saying. Like, yes, if it's not U.S., it would be alarming. If, if let's say Russia is doing flyovers of the largest nuclear facility I mean, in the U.S., that's not out of the question. That's exactly why I found it alarming. Do I have to make it any more obvious? Yes. <laughs> okay, Jonathan Bieber. No, Justin Bieber. <laughs> I already talked about that. Anyways, um, so that was, uh, what else do we have here? This is an interesting one. A um, few minutes left before we go. A few many, uh, a few many fucked up things to talk about. That makes no sense. Fucked up things to talk about? A few, a few sense. many. A few many. I like that contradiction, that logical contradiction. A few many. No. Um, this one was weird. MIT, they test a dream incubation device that manipulates the concept and content of people's dreams. Huh. Sounds like the more tinfoil hat theory. Oh, really? I yeah. guess, well, that remains to be seen, sir. I mean, fuck. People, they've Freaking manipula- wow, manipulating content, some dreams. I mean, the fuck. Uh, it's not that well, what's next? Reading our fucking it's minds. It's not that far fetched. Yes, no, it's not. Those are electrical wheels. Right no, I'm wheels. saying I'm not. Oh, never mind. We're robots. We're in a simulation. We're just zero one emulating zero one zero one zero one zero one 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 zero one 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 one. 
zero one 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 zero one 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 nine 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 anyways scientists have developed an experimental device for the protocol uh, and protocol for manipulating the content of people's dreams while they're sleeping by making them recall specific cues that can be triggered uh, and targeted. Triggered. And trigger targeted dream themes and experiences. So, you know, uh, that movie Inception, you know, it was a pretty good film, you know, for an action film, in my, my opinion. So apparently this is real. So they're able to to basically give people dreams uh, they're hmm. reaching the capability to give people dreams of things they want them to dream about uh very uh, very interesting technology so a uh, new study led by neuroscientist adam har horowitz from mit describes wearing an uh, a wearable a wearable like electronic ugh, man i'm probably, I'm fucked up tonight that I cannot speak. I mean, if I talk like, it describes a wearable electronic device called Dorimo that enables what the researchers term targeted dream incubator, TDI. Or TDI. See, if I do that, then I, then I you know, concentrate on my voice more. And, uh, you know, uh, anyways. So, um, yeah. Ooh, the no, state of mind God. is trippy, loose, flexible, and divergent. Yeah, I've 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 known about this term before, hypnogogia, um, and uh, it's uh, I used to hear about it in like you know, like Goa trance songs, like that was a a, a big theme of listening to like trance music. It's like I don't know, but five, four, three, two, one, go. Go what? Yeah, goat. Goat. Mm-hmm. What about a goat? I'm not sure, man. So, um, uh, before we go, we'll talk about a few more fucked up things. It's been a rounding up the hour here of craziness uh, in in here in, in <laughs> California in, in Olympics, middle of nowhere of, of Minnesota. You know, Minnesota, eh? I'm you know. Illinois, but okay. Illinois. Oh, he's in Chicago. He's a Southie. He's in, he's I'm in not in Chicago either. Oh, you should be. No, I shouldn't. I don't want to get shot. If not, I better not get shot. Yeah. I don't know. Why not? <laughs> Beavers. You, know, you have to have an honorable, honorable way to fucking die, dude. Come on. Matt wants to show us his lubes. I bet he does. He, he's uh, he's an enterprising young man, uh, or middle-aged man. So last story before we go, I suppose, um, this is just an odd one. So man kept child and 12 others as slaves and forced them to follow uh, cruel rules. So a shocking catalog of, of abuse was discovered by investigators in New Zealand who discovered Joseph Agua Man- Marama, uh, was forcing his victims, including a 12-year-old child, to work long days for no pay. So uh, he's been jailed for, for keeping them uh, as slaves. And uh, he enticed his victims to move to New Zealand from Samoa, where he was from, ultimately, where they were forced to endure uh, brutal beatings if they didn't uh, stick to cruel rules. Um, wow, this guy was crazy. So when one teenage girl managed to escape... A couple heard the, uh, the, the people trafficker, this guy, he's a Samoan chief. He tied her hands and riffs and bundled her into a car. All right. Nice guy. Hmm. Wow. What a, what a, uh, he was jailed for 11 years in order to pay 183000 to his victims. Well, that's good. Well, what a weird fucking thing, man. Look at the guy. He's like, yeah, fuck it. He's like, I'm a fucking chief, bitch. I do what I want. I'm a chief, bitch. 
the 13 people, they were aged between their 50s and 12. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I mentioned. The youngest one was 12, which is kind of fucked up. He denied the charges throughout his five-week trial before yeah. being found guilty of 10 human trafficking charges and 13 uh, of dealing in slaves. Well, that's a fun day at the office. That's all I can say. <laughs> Anyways, I guess that's all we've got tonight. All right. Uh, we'll any final out. words, sex fiends? Uh, my experience is that um, it is better to kill and hail Satan than to have not killed and hail Satan. What? <laughs> no, That's uh, random as hell. Well, you know, triple six, bitch. No. You know what? I'm going to triple six you. Nah, I'm just, I'm just being, being messed up. I'm just being weird. You are you weird. Know. Thank you guys here. Uh, we will come back next week with some more interesting and maybe on time. To talk to you about Pro possibly on time, possibly not. Probably um, not. Thank Thank you, you for tuning in, my friends. Um, the Holy Roger, Alt Markets, Crypto, Porn, Pornography. All right. Thank you, my friends. Our music. Thank you. <laughs>